A month ago, we were told to research some prairie marshes, and it's been very boring. However, it's kind of been pretty good as well, because I've learned through all of this research that the, Mac <laughs> that the Macquarie marshes are important. They're important to me, they're important to you, they're important to everyone. Without them, Western New South Wales and all of the Murray-Darling Basin wouldn't be the same. Our homes and all of our livelihoods would be dramatically altered if the marshes were to disappear or die. Our biodiversity of plants and animals, our water security that we really enjoy, and the health of our environments could not sustain themselves without help from the marshes and will not sustain themselves without help from the marshes. Originally for this project, the idea was going to be to visit the marshes and do field work and understand how it all fits together. However, that isn't possible anymore. Few people are now allowed to visit the marshes and its future remains uncertain. This is because in 2019, during one of Australia's worst fire seasons, the marshes burned with Australia. This is concerning. The marshes are important for the environment, they are important for the residents, they are important for farmers and for the health of the country and the land. Our country is burnt and if our catastrophic trajectory continues, it will continue to burn. So the question remains, what needs to change? <laughs> this problem we need to understand what the marshes are and where they're at and why they are so important. So what are the marshes? The Macquarie marshes are an inland wetland located 80 kilometres north of Warren and 30 kilometres west of the small town of Quambo in northwest New South Wales. The area that is protected known as the Macquarie Marshes Nature Reserve covers an area of around 23,000 hectares which is comparable to over 100,000 football fields. So why are the marshes so important? Macquarie marshes are an extremely complex system that have found biological stability over thousands of years. The marshes remain one of the only semi-permanent inland wetlands in all of Australia. As a consequence of this, they host hundreds of species that are threatened and endangered and would have nowhere else to go without the wetlands. The marshes also support the health of the land and river systems around it. As the health of the marshes decline, so does the land leading to an inescapable spiral of ecological disaster. The Macquarie Marshes also serve as a vital junction in the Murray-Darling Basin and more locally in the Bogan Macquarie River catchment area. This provides environmental stability and water security for the local area. The Macquarie Marshes also serve as a site of great importance to the local landholders, the Whalen people. The marshes once provided a place for the Whalen people to thrive in the arid climate. More than that, they hold many sites of cultural and spiritual significance that signify their connection to the land. It was originally the Whalen people who knew how to care for the land and care for all things on the land. Without the marshes, hundreds of species of plants and animals and many more spiritual and historical sites would be lost forever. The marshes are home to many special and threatened species that rely on its unique environment. They play host to a wide variety of birds, frogs, reptiles and fish. The wetlands are also a home and breeding ground to over 77 types of water birds. These, some of these birds fly over oceans to get here and some of these are also Australian. These species include threatened and endangered, endangered species such as the magpie goose and the Australian frog. The Murray Cod are a native species that contribute greatly to the health of the marshes and other rivers. It rivers. However, they are now considered to be in danger. This is because of the recent fish kills and the declining health of rivers in general. Hundred millions of fish died and hundred year old fish died. This is going to damage the future of the species and the future of the ecosystems. These wetlands are obviously very important. So the question now is why is something so important and so vital to our way of life being allowed to degrade so much? Why is our land dying? The degradation of the wetlands can be broken up into two categories. Those that are directly human impacted and those that have changed naturally as a result of human actions. There are many human actions that have had a direct effect on the Macquarie marshes. However, the biggest one of these is water diversion. As water has been diverted away from the marshes for a long time, such as when Burundong Dam was built, the animals and the marshes can't thrive to their full potential. The introduction of invasive species also has also devastated the marshes. 
Invasive species such as carp destroy the land and deprive native species of what they need. There are mainly biophysical changes occurring in the marshes as a direct result of human action. One of the most concerning of these is the increased amount of toxic compounds of iron and aluminium. These are devastating the land and killing native species and destroying the water quality. The change in climate is also having an adverse effect on the Macquarie marshes. Climate change is leading to more extreme weather conditions. This means more drought, more fires and more floods, leading to the destruction of the land, the degradation of the environment and the loss of habitats for native animals. The question now is how is the land currently being managed and what do we need to change to ensure that the marshes can thrive into the future? Currently there are efforts by governments to help manage the marshes by ensuring water for environmental purposes and international agreements to protect water births. Unfortunately, these measures do not address the adverse effects of over-irrigation, water diversion, and the devastating consequences of our change in climate. Aboriginal land management, which originally protected the marshes for many tens of thousands of years, is all about giving to the land and taking only what you need. Unfortunately, for the past 200 years, we've been doing the complete opposite, taking everything we want and draining wetlands such as the Macquarie Marshes for all that they have. So what needs to change? The answer is a whole lot if we want any kind of a future. Firstly, we need to give the Macquarie Marshes and other ecosystems the resources they need. They are a natural environment and they deserve to act naturally. For this, they need resources so that we can restore them to their former glory. Secondly, we need to promote native species. Native species are the backbone of our ecosystems. And if we can have them in our environments instead of, instead of dangerous and destructive invasive species, then we can pave the way to a brighter and a greener future. Thirdly, we need to tackle climate change. It is the existential threat to our generation. And if we don't stop emissions and we don't stop the warming of our planet, then the Macquarie marshes and all other environments and us as a race are going to be stand, staring down the barrel of drought and flood and fires and staring into a future of no natural anything anymore. And lastly, and most importantly, we need to share the resources of our land because no one group is more important than the other. We are all in this together. We all live here, and it is all our future at risk if we can't. If we cannot come together to protect the land and share the land and make it an amazing place to live, that is green and living, then our, and if we can't share it, then our ecological disaster and our downfall is all but inevitable.